Hi, welcome to West 57. You've probably heard about a religious sect called the Hare Krishnas. They've been chanting and panhandling for money since the movement began in the early 60s. Our first story tonight is about a place called New Vrindavan, West Virginia. It used to be the largest Krishna community in the country. A few years back, one of the Hare Krishna members, a man named Stephen Bryant, dropped out of New Vrindavan and launched a one-man holy war. Bryant accused the Krishnas there of fraud, sexually molesting children, and drug dealing. Bryant's charges were dismissed at the time as the rantings of a fanatic. That is until last year, when Bryant turned up murdered. New Vrindavan is now a community under legal siege. Investigators are looking into all of Bryant's old charges and the possibility that the guru, a man named Kirtananda Swami Bhaktapad, wanted Stephen Bryant killed. Did you give the order to murder Steve Bryant? <laughs> I'm surprised at you. Of course not. I could not do that. We don't even kill animals. We believe that every living being is the part and parcel of God. What will you do if you're indicted as part of a conspiracy? I'll fight it, because they have no evidence. It is simply part of a plot against me. By whom? By many people, especially local officials and some ex-devotees. They want to destroy this community. His detractors say Swami Bhaktapad has created a community that is destroying itself. His real name is Keith Ham, 49 years old. He walks with canes ever since a disgruntled Krishna crippled him with a steel pipe two years ago. Even in the confines of his own peaceful commune, Bhaktapad travels with an attack dog and several bodyguards. He founded New Vrindavan with a handful of followers 20 years ago. Now there are several hundred to whom Bhaktapad is a god. Madhavinda Puri was not at all anxious during the long journey to Vrindavan. This transcendental pleasure was sufficient for him. The Krishnas here spend their lives working for and worshipping Bhaktapad. Self-denial and service are sacred. Material possessions and outsiders are evil. Most of the devoted live below the poverty line, while much of their labor has gone into building this. The Palace of Gold, a lavish shrine that is part of Bhaktapad's master plan to build a Hare Krishna theme park here in West Virginia. Critics say he's become obsessed with this hundred million dollar theme park dream. You can also see over here to the Garbhagruha without the balcony getting in his way. What's going on with the swimming pool? What doesn't show up on the building plans though is the Krishna undercurrent of violence. Well, we've got a human skeleton and we've recovered uh, for the most part all of it. The police have been called many times to New Vrindavan to investigate suspicious Krishna deaths. More than once they have dug up a skeleton. This one was a murdered Krishna named Charles St. Denis. If you want to know if I'm a killer, the, the answer is no, I'm not a killer. Thomas Drescher, a Krishna, was convicted of that murder. He has also been charged with the murder of Stephen Bryant. He's currently in prison awaiting trial. You've never, you never murdered anybody? Never murdered anyone. He never murdered Steve Bryant. Never murdered anyone. Prosecutors believe Drescher may have been a Krishna hitman. They believe he may have killed Stephen Bryant because his spiritual master Swami Bhaktapad asked him to. The allegation is basically this, that despite the docile appearance of the Krishnas, that there's a violence underneath, that dissenters aren't tolerated, that Steve Bryant was a dissenter, and that's why he was killed. What do you think of that? I think it's a concoction by people that have organized themselves to discredit, defame, and destroy New Vrindavan. Thomas Drescher and the Krishnas at New Vrindavan think they're being persecuted. Bhaktapad teaches them that anyone who is not a Krishna is a demon, that theirs is a holy cause, and anyone who can't be converted to it can at least be used to fund it. At 4.30 a.m., all Krishnas in the commune are expected at morning service. Most mornings, though, at least half the community is out on the road hustling money. Government investigators accuse the Krishnas of fraud in their fundraising. They say the Krishnas used deception to satisfy Bhaktapad's appetite for hard cash. 
I was going out making four or five hundred dollars a day, and we were sending it to build the palace. To Bhaktapad? Yes, of gold. Reverend Norman Hewlett quit the Krishnas. He was once a disciple of Bhaktapad. How are you making four, five hundred dollars a day? A lot of ways. Well, like this flower here, say I give you the flower and tell you that I'm helping crippled children today. We would use the words orphans, um, slow learners, anything to, you know, get this sentimental feeling. Malika is still a Krishna, but she left the New Vrindavan commune. We never said we're with the Hari Krishnas, we have this big farm project, we're trying to fund it. We would never say that. Crippled children was a total lie? Yeah, that's one lie. Then one day, like on Veterans Day, we just go out and say we're helping for the veterans. Another lie? Yeah. We would go to a lot of events and just people, person after person after person, you know, give them a line, get the money, go to the next one. Are there any limits to what is allowed for Krishnas to raise money? If it's raised yes. under a deceptive way, is that okay, as long as you get the dough? Well, that depends. Just like a mother may give a, a pill to a child in, in a little sugar coating and say, here, this tastes real good. So, I, I, so that is love. So sometimes devotees appear a little deceptive, or they try to put a sugar coating. On, on the act of getting people to give charity. All is fair in love and fundraising? Well, when people are ill-informed, when people are under the modes of ignorance, they do not know what is good and what is not good. Deception isn't going to make them better informed, sir, with all due respect. I'm not respect. saying deception, but I'm saying we can try to sugarcoat it for them. In addition to their fraud investigation, federal authorities are looking into the allegation that drug smuggling helped pay for the Palace of Gold. Did you ever deal drugs in order to raise that money for Krishna's? Yes, I did. What kinds of drugs did you sell? I was selling heroin and cocaine. Hewlett claims he sold the drugs for one of Bhaktapad's temples and that Bhaktapad knew the drugs were being sold. So as long as you were quiet about it, okay to sell drugs to make money for the Krishnas. Yeah, it was about me, me and maybe 10 more people involved in this, see. What do you say to the allegation that the Krishnas have funded themselves with drug money? I don't believe it. Do you know it to not be true? Well, I know that, that on the West Coast they had one uh, isolated incident, but uh, as, a, as a general rule, I'm, I'm positive it's not true. Are you saying you've never had any drug running take place with no, the Christians, never. to your knowledge? Never. It is Bhaktapad who sets the social order at New Vrindavan and assigns all the work tasks. The Supreme Personality of Godhead can never be... He's created a very structured social ladder here, with women on the bottom rung. Arguments that simply originate from your teeny brain. Well, it's easier to stay in your place if you're... If you're trained that a woman's position is subordinate to a man's, like our grandmothers were. Uh, what are the teachings of Bhaktipad on this? Well, Bhaktipad's real practical. I mean, he knows that women are less intelligent than men. <laughs> the whole attitude was so very demeaning, always, always trying to keep women down, you know. If you didn't beat your wife, you, wife, you were called pussy-whipped. If you didn't beat your wife, that meant that she controlled you. There have been allegations for years that women are abused around here, that, that wives are beaten, and that that's condoned. It is not condoned, and, and I don't believe it is a case any more than it's a case in conventional society. One ex-devotee of, of yours said he came to you with a marital problem, was having troubles with his wife, and claims that you told him, well, hit her as a solution. That is not the solution. The solution is to reason with her, to instruct her, to encourage her like that, to preach to her. Of course, I can't say that there would never be a circumstance when it wouldn't be the best thing in the world to give her a, a, a little slap on the face. Or, you know, uh, just like uh, my dog, I don't beat my dog, nor do, nor do I allow anyone else. I, I love my dog. But if the dog is very noisy, I might take his snout and give him a little tap. 
to train him. There are 60 children who live at New Vrindavan, all participate in daily prayers. But the boys in the commune have a special place close to Bhaktapad. There seems to be a special relationship with you and the young boys, the, the touching as you enter. Can you explain that? That is love. Just as I love the boys, God loves, God loves us and, and the boys love me. What is he to you? What do you, what do you know about Bhaktipad? What do you think of him? You worship Bhaktipad as if you would worship God. Because cause you're so pleased with him because he's, he's bringing this to you so, so you don't fall down in material life. When you pray in the morning, do you pray for Bhaktipad or do you pray to Bhaktipad? We pray to Bhaktipad. What are you saying? Well, we're saying that how, how we love him so much because he's brought us Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness? Yes. And how he's built this community so nicely. What are you kids going to do when you grow up? What the, what the guru tells us to. Children are separated from their parents and raised austerely by the commune. At New Vrindavan, they suffer illnesses of poor sanitation, like parasites and hepatitis. Some say a few children have had to put up with worse than that. How about sexual molestation? It's a delicate question, difficult to ask, but it's been a persistent allegation here for years that children are sexually used. That is not true. Unequivocally? It's never been true. Unequivocally. Well, that's not true. Yeah. My child was sexually molested in New Vrindavan, West Virginia. And, uh, you know, Bhaktipat did not molest him. No, I don't blame him for that. Uh, one, of the, one of the men under his, in his charge that was entrusted with these boys in the school molested him. Steve Hebel remains a Krishna but has left Bhaktipat's commune. He claims the headmaster of the school molested his son. Not once, but many times over a three-year period. Hebel's ex-wife confronted Bhaktipat and then filed a complaint with local police. Like, you know, Susan wanted an investigation done internally there, wanted something done about it, and Bhaktipad's reaction to Susan was like, stupid woman, why are you trying to make waves? Why are you so up in arms? Sex is sex. You know, I mean, he's comparing uh, two consenting adults uh, doing, you know, uh, performing sex to child molestation. For all I know, this could still be going on. Since our interview with Hebel, the police have charged the headmaster of the school with child molestation. He's left the country. Another man, an assistant teacher, pled guilty. Police are still investigating five other cases at the Krishna commune. Bhaktapad claims he's not bothered by charges of fraud, drug running, abuse of women and children, and murder. His only concern, it seems, is keeping New Vrindavan in the news. Then you're not concerned about all of these legal inquiries? No, not at all. Actually, they're doing us a great favor. How's that? <laughs> Just like you're here, why are you here? Because there's been some publicity about us. I think it was B.T. Barnum that said there's no, only, the only bad publicity is no publicity. So you're enjoying this? Of course. E even if it's in the context of one of your devotees being murdered, even if it's in the context of these kinds of allegations. If you see a diamond, even in a, a dung heap, will you pick it out? All glories be similar bodies. Bhaktapad now faces federal arson charges and was recently excommunicated from the international Hare Krishna movement. All glories, Sri Sri Guru and Goranga.